Hi, this video is here to help you with recognising and describing 3D shapes. Let's remind ourselves of some of the vocabulary relating to shapes before we begin. A 2D shape has two dimensions, length and width. 2D shapes are flat. 3D shape has three dimensions, length, height and width. 3D shapes are solid. These are also known as polyhedrons a 3D shape whose faces are all polygons. Let's have a go at identifying and naming some 3D shapes. Can you name the shape as it appears on the screen? It's a cube. A cuboid. A square-based pyramid. A tetrahedron which sometimes gets called a triangular base pyramid, a triangular prism, a pentagonal prism, a hexagonal prism, an octagonal prism, and an octahedron. How many of the shapes could you name? Now that we've recognised and named the shapes, let's have a look at how we can describe them. When we're describing 3D shapes, we can identify their properties. We can say how many edges, how many vertices, and how many faces a shape has, and what 2D shape the faces are. Vertex is the singular form, and vertices is the plural form. So you may see both forms being used. A face is one of the 2D plane surfaces of a 3D shape. Faces are flat. This cuboid has six rectangular faces. An edge is the intersection of two faces, the straight line where two flat faces of a polyhedron, a 3D shape, meet. This triangular prism has nine edges. A vertex is a point where three or more edges meet on a 3D shape. This square base pyramid has five vertices. Let's use this vocabulary to describe a 3D shape. This is a triangular prism. Let's start by counting the faces. A prism has two opposite identical faces. In this case, two opposite triangular faces. So we can start by counting these and then count the other faces. One, two, three, four, Five. There are five faces. Two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. Next, let's count the edges. We need to remember to count the edges on the opposite ends and between the rectangular faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine edges. Finally, we'll count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six vertices. When we can move the 3D shape around like this, we can check that we've counted them all. But if we're using a 2D representation of a 3D shape, we need to be able to imagine the shape in our head to visualise each face edge and vertex. We can also mark them off to help us. To count the faces on a triangular prism, we'll start it with the opposite faces again, beginning with the one that we can see. One, two. Next, we'll move on to the rectangular faces, again beginning with the one that we can see. Three, four, five. We can repeat this for the edges, Again, starting with the ones that we can see each time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And finally, for the vertices, again, starting with the ones we can see. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're using 2D representations of 3D shapes, Jottings on the picture can help you to remember which ones you've already counted and to make sure you count all of the faces, 
edges and vertices, even if you can't see them in the picture. Now it's your turn. For each of these shapes, name it and then describe how many faces, edges and vertices it has. First row has been done for you. Pause now while you answer the question. How did you get on? Here are the answers. You can pause the video again if you need a little longer to check them. Now it's time for you to use your knowledge to answer a challenge question. Sammy can only see one face of a 3D shape. The face is a square. Sammy says the 3D shape must be a cube. Do you agree with Sammy? Remember to explain your answer by giving examples. Pause now while you answer the question. How did you get on? Because Sammy says it must be a cube, we disagree with her. The 3D shape could be a cube, but it could also be any other 3D shape that has a square face. For example, it could be a cuboid or a square-based pyramid. I hope this video has helped you to recognise and describe 3D shapes. If you're looking for more maths help, then there are lots more videos like this on the Twinkle website, so go and check them out.